Day at the beach turned deadly in an instant for California beachgoers. With wild weather happening across the country, should people here be concerned? CBS 2's Emily Smith with more on what we need to know to stay safe. It was totally unexpected on a beautiful day. There was clear blue sky overhead. Then from nowhere, a freak storm hit Venice Beach, killing a 20-year-old man, injuring more than a dozen people and jolting others. It felt like someone punched me in the back of my head, like right here. And it went down my whole side of my right body and my calf sort of locked up and I fell over. And I looked up and everybody else was, you know, falling over. We went to the beach today in our area to find out if people here would know what to do. If I hear thunder, then I'm out of here. Just go under the overpass or under the boardwalk. I would run for the under the boardwalk. But they don't realize that post Sandy, there is no more under the boardwalk. That's because with more violent storms coming through, they built it so that the water can't get to the other side. Veteran Long Beach lifeguard Paul Gillespie says his team watches the weather forecast all day. And once dark clouds roll in, they steer people to safety. Gillespie says dealing with thunder and lightning is a weekly battle in the tri-state area. Whereas in California, a storm on a beach is extremely rare, especially in July. You have to be aware, and I'm sure that's the same problem they had out there. The worst place to be, Gillespie says, is on an open beach since you end up being the highest point for lightning. We take the lifeguards off the chair, they, they go back to the facilities or they uh, seek shelter and we advise everybody else to please get off the beach. It's pretty scary. I mean, the whole weather situation across the country has been so odd this year. Leaving beachgoers here keeping an extra vigilant eye on the sky. On Long Beach, Emily Smith, CBS 2 News. Well, of course, beach safety is on the top of everyone's mind in our area. Beaches have been very busy this summer. And Lonnie Quinn here now with more on uh, lightning safety. That was scary. Yeah, do you remember during uh, lightning safety week, I did a little something on bolts from the blue, where you have a crystal clear blue sky and you had the lightning strikes sure. take place way ahead of a storm. Uh, in fact, uh, I mean, look, if you have a, st a storm 10 to 15 miles away and you hear about lightning strikes ahead of it, that's not unheard of. It has been recorded that lightning has struck up to almost 50 miles ahead of a storm. Now, here's what you do if you're out there and you hear lightning. Uh, maybe you were taught this by your parents. I know I was. You count the seconds, okay? You're going to see the lightning first because light travels faster than sound. Count the seconds until you hear the first clap of thunder. All right, you then divide that number by five, and that will tell you how many miles away it is. Basically, if you're counting and you get to the number 30 or less, you're in the danger zone. So you have to find shelter immediately, and you want to remain inside for at least 30 minutes until after the last rumble. I just want to quickly tell you, one of the things you do not do, and everybody is just prone to do it, you do not go under a tree. If there's, if there's no building to go into and you can't get into a car, literally lie down in the lowest spot possible. But do not, under any circumstances, go under a tree. You bet. All right, All right. Guys. you'll so, talk yeah. more about our weather in just a bit. You bet, because it's starting to get stormy out there. Okay. Thank you, Lonnie. All right, we have